Hi everybody, it's Pastor Jennifer. It's so good to see you today. It's a beautiful day. The weather is gorgeous. I hope you get to go outside and play. It's a little bit cooler. We're here in the chapel today. It's Wednesday and we are going to learn about Jesus and his 12 helpers. This can be found in your Bible in Matthew chapter 4 and I'll show you the picture. Looks like we've got some fishermen in a boat and we've got Jesus and a couple of other people. So let's find out what's going on. It looks like Jesus is talking to them. Let's listen to the story. So Jesus had the best news ever. He knew the biggest and best part of God's plan, which was to save people from their sins so that they could live forever with him in heaven. Jesus wanted helpers to help spread the news and tell everybody in the world about what God was doing. So did he look for helpers who were really smart? No. Did he look for rich people who could use their money to help? No. Jesus looked for ordinary people who did ordinary things. Jesus went walking by the Sea of Galilee, and there he saw two fishermen in a boat casting their nets. The men were brothers named Peter and Andrew. So that must be Peter and Andrew right here. And there's Jesus. And they're fishing. You can see the big net. Jesus called to them and said, Come, follow me. I will make you fishers of men. Peter and Andrew knew in their hearts that Jesus was God's son. So they decided to leave their work behind them and join Jesus. So Jesus then saw two more brothers, James and John. They were fixing nets in a boat with their dad. He said, come, follow me. They also decided to leave their jobs as fishermen and go with Jesus to be his helpers. Instead of catching fish, they would go and catch people because they knew that Jesus could. They wanted people to know Jesus. They wanted people to know the Son of God. So Jesus gathered more helpers called disciples. Along the way, that's Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, Thaddeus, Another man named James, Simon, Judas, and even a tax collector named Matthew. Matthew hung out with sinners, but that didn't bother Jesus. He already knew that Matthew would leave everything behind, his money and his job, to be a helper. Do you see all the disciples, all of the, all of the followers of Jesus? Jesus asked Matthew, the tax collector, will you follow me? And Matthew said, I will, I will, of course. He was so happy that he invited his friends to dinner so they could meet Jesus and the other disciples. But some wondered why Jesus would eat with a bunch of sinners. I came to save them, Jesus said. They need me most of all. Jesus didn't run from sinners. More than anything, he wanted them to be rescued. Jesus and his helpers, the 12 disciples, wanted everyone to know about God's great plan. And what is God's great plan? We read it in the very beginning. God's great plan is to save people from their sins so that they can live forever with him in heaven. So that's a great story. What, what do you think you would do if you saw Jesus today and he said, come, follow me? Would you follow him? Would you call your friends around and say, hey, look, it's Jesus. Come and meet this guy. This is the son of God who's going to save us from our sins so that we can live eternally in heaven. So Matthew 4, 19 says, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. You don't have to be perfect to follow Jesus. You only have to believe in him and trust him. You can be one of God's helpers too. You can tell your family and friends about the good news that Jesus came to save the world from sin. You can tell them that if they believe in Jesus, that they can also live forever in heaven. 
And there's Jesus and all the disciples. Well, I hope you have a great day at school today. Enjoy the beautiful weather. Go outside and play. And don't forget to say your prayers before you go to bed tonight. So let's go ahead and say a prayer now. Why don't you bow your heads and make your prayer hands and let's say a prayer to God. Lord Jesus, we are so thankful that you came from heaven to be with us and to call us to follow you. We want to follow you and we want to help to lead others to follow you as well. Help us to be your disciples. We love you. Amen. Okay, you guys have a great week. It's so good to see you. Make sure you wave to me when you see me in the hallways. All right, talk to you soon. Bye.